What's up, dudes and dudettes? So today, you're gonna have Mrs. Moore back behind me. Can you see her? <laughs> so, <laughs> so today I'm gonna talk about my pearly ocelotus that I have, and well, my Melagris, Stripresi, whatever you wanna call them. They're my Shellies. I have two Shellies. I have those and my Similis and rock dwellers. So I took out the Melagris and out of the Shelly tank and put them with the rock dwellers to see if I can get a little bit more breeding action going on in with the actual uh, Similis because I want to start a colony of those. So I want to show you guys what's going on with the one shellies that I got and how they're getting along with the rock dwellers in that tank. As you can see, it was pretty well what I thought it would do. Everybody's getting along great. Not a whole lot going on. They just stick to their own. Rock dwellers in the beginning were kind of iffy with them, but everybody's getting along. Everything's going well, the way I would want it to. And as far as the Similis, see what I can get in here without scaring the male. Male is a big, he's, he's a male, but he's a big girl. He runs back into that shell every time. But there they are. There's the reading group. But yeah, this is a couple days. I'm upping the water changes up to two times a week. Before, I had them in with the Ocelotus, just, you know, not really worrying about it. Just figured, alright, I'm just going to try it out and see what happens. But, yeah, that didn't work out as well as I thought it would. The, uh, the Similis just took a too ter territorial towards the Ocelotus and just kept them over here. But then he dominated there was one ocelotus over here that was the higher the dominant male and he kept all the other ones over here in this glass and the similis were right here and no matter which way i ran these rocks they just stayed right there so let's try this see see what happens once again wish me luck a comment like and subscribe like always guys Thanks for watching.